ended up in the UK High Court because I published a long-running investigation into the man who funded the Leave.EU campaign. I don't think journalism works in the way it used to, in which you publish an article in the newspaper and things change, Prime Ministers resign and it doesn't work like that anymore. We live in this age of no accountability. The pandemic saved the advocates of Brexit, or at least it bought them some time. All this delusional stuff about global Britain and rural Britannia, it's coinciding with the diminution of the British economy, the diminution of British influence around the world, and people are finally beginning to link it with Brexit. A lot of what my work documents is this ability to cut off understanding, to cut off a recognition of the humanity of other people and to not actually see beyond public statements that are made by powerful people or powerful organisations and one way to get around that is by having journalists who are producing quality reporting and gathering accurate information. And if we actually care about climate change, we have to care about ways of stopping fossil fuels. I was shocked when I realised that nuclear power is our biggest low carbon energy source. Nuclear power has become a discussion. Back five years ago, eight years ago, it was there were really not a lot of people discussing about nuclear power or willing to listen or talk about it. <laughs>